I've, I want to begin by sharing my favorite networking story with you because this illustrates what good networking is all about. And it goes like this. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas. And I'm sure a lot of you recognize that man, Winston Churchill, the Prime Minister of England during the Second World War. And the other man on either side of him, it's the same man, and he's equally as famous but less well known. And I'd like to share a story with you about how these two men are connected. And the story goes like this. There was a Scottish farmer called Fleming who was riding along on his horse on his farm and he heard shouts and screams coming from the nearby marshland. And he rushed down to see a little boy sinking very slowly into the quicksand and he was about to die. And Farmer Fleming stretched out a branch and he hauled this little boy out and he saved his life. This little boy said, thank you so much and he went off on his way. The next day, a huge carriage pulled up to Farmer Fleming's um, farm and a nobleman got out. And he came up to Farmer Fleming and he said, you saved the life of my son yesterday. How can I repay you? And Farmer Fleming said, any person would have done exactly the same thing. There's no reason to repay me. But this nobleman said, I feel that I shouldn't. At that exact moment, another little boy came out from behind Farmer Fleming who turned out to be his son. And he was about the same age as the little boy who'd been saved the previous day. And Farmer Fleming looked at this child, or the nobleman looked at this child, and he said, if you grow up to be a man like your father, you will be a great man one day. And he turned to Farmer Fleming and he says, I have a suggestion. I'd like to offer to pay for your son's education so that he's educated in the same way as my son is educated. Will you accept that as my way of saying thank you? And Farmer Fleming was a very proud man, but he was a very poor man. And he realized this was an opportunity he couldn't let go by for his son. And with that, he agreed. His son went on to attend the best schools in England, and he eventually graduated from St. Mary's Medical School in Oxford. And he became the gentleman on either side of Winston Churchill, Sir Alexander Fleming, the founder of penicillin. And years later, the nobleman's son, who turned out to be Winston Churchill, got very sick and almost died of pneumonia. Guess what the drug was that saved him? And it's my favorite networking story because it illustrates the concept of what comes around, goes around. And this is what good networking is all about. It's not about schmoozing, it's not about being manipulative, it's not about dull, boring cocktail parties with a whole lot of self-absorbed people and soggy snacks. It's also not about the air kisses, you know, and I'm, I, I haven't, I hope that, I'm sure there are none of you that are here, because they're the mwah, mwah, and they're already looking over your shoulders to see who else is more interesting in the room. Mm. Unfortunately, networking has had a bad rap, and that is not what good networking is. It's taking this basic human dynamic of establishing mutually beneficial business relationships. Networking, they've got to be win-win. It can't be win-lose, because as soon as it's win-lose, then it doesn't work. It only lasts for a short period of time. 